Okay, so this is the Adreno uh, website. Uh, basically, we can look for the Adreno um, thing. What we want to do is we want to go to download, and we want to download the Adreno software. Okay, so download the Adreno software. This is 1.6.4, so this only came out a couple of days ago. And for me, I'm on a Mac, so I want to download the Mac OS X 10.7. Uh, uh, if you're on a Windows, then download this, right? So we just click on this to download it. And it will work out. Contribute to Adreno software. If you feel the urge that you want to down, um, contribute some money, that's fine. Otherwise, we just say just download. And it will, we can see it's downloading to here. And it's 81 meg. So luckily I'm on NBN, so it's pretty quick. This is Wi-Fi, so it's not as quick as normal. All right, so that will download the Adreno software. I've already done this. All right, so here I've got the Adreno software. I want to open this up. So I just double click to open it. It's a zip file, so hopefully your, your uh, Mac should be able to open it. So I'm just going to stop that one from downloading. All right, so it's opening up the zip file, and it's gonna, now going to have, have my Adreno software ready to be installed. Okay, so now I've got Adreno and now I've got two of them. Right, so this is the Adreno board. When I open this up, so let's just get rid of this. Okay, so we're basically, this is my Adreno software um, camera here just so you can see what's going on. Okay, now on my Adreno software, this is your build window. In other words, this is where you get to put in all your code. The best thing, the easiest thing we can do is we can just go, oops, let's get rid of those wires because they're just sitting there doing nothing. All right. Um, plug my Adreno back in. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go file, sketch, uh, examples, basic, blink. Okay, and this will open up a new, new thing. So this now, you, um, so our Adreno code, basically when it's got forward slash start, that means all I'm doing is putting comments. It doesn't have anything to do with the computer. So here's all the information that's telling us what's going on, right? Start and forward slash means the end of this comment, right? Normally, anytime you see forward slash forward slash is when you have the setup, um, you just have a comment, okay? So this is actually saying uh, void setup, so setting, this, setting, setting up the device. We want to make pin 13 as our output, all right? So we're at pin mode 13 output, pretty simple. Then we're going void loop, which means we're going to do something that's going to loop over and over again. It says digital write 13. So this says to the pin 13, which is this one here, right? To pin 13, okay? So this one here. Uh, we're going to write to it. High means on. We're going to delay a thousand, so that's a thousand milliseconds or one second. Digital write 13 low, which means off. Delay 1,000, so that means wait for a thousand. Uh, wait for one second. Now remember, we said that this flashing light is also pin 13. So if if I want to try and load it, first of all, it won't work at the moment because I haven't told the computer what the board is. So I go tools, I go board, and I have to choose the board that I want. So in this case, a mega board is a larger board, which I don't have here. But we want Adreno Uno, okay? And our port should be USB modem, yeah, which is this one. So it thinks it's a, it's a modem, but it's not. So it's USB. Now, it's ready to go. So it's down here, it says Adreno Uno on the modem, yes. And I wanna click this little arrow which says upload. So now it's gonna try and upload it. If it doesn't work, it will come, it will turn orange and it will tell me what, why it's not working. But that appears to have worked. And now you saw it flash lots of times. And now my thing is, my light is flashing every second. Instead of flashing lots of times, it's flashing every second. 
All right, now equally, we know that I could plug in my light into pin 13. All right, so here we have 13 and ground, so we have to go back out to ground. And there's our light flashing on and off. Now I might not want it to flash on and off like that. I might want it to flash on for a second and then off for a half a second, so 500 milliseconds. Okay, so all I've done is change over here. Upload, it's uploading, it flashes lots of times to say it's uploaded. And now we have it on, off, on, off, on, right? So it's only going off for a little amount of time. If I go down to flash it on and off every tenth of a second, flash lots of times, and now it's going, and now it's running. Okay, so fairly simple. If I bring over, make it a little bit more complicated again, all right, remember we had our board here. All right, I'm gonna pull this light out and plug it across my board like I had before. All right, so remember, we have, this is our positive. So remember, we just plugged in the 13, so if I plug this into 13 now, this is our negative. So if I plug oops, this into my ground, and we have our two lights flashing. Now, because they're both plugged into the same one, right, they're both plugged into 13, they're both gonna flash at the same time. If I want the blue light here to be plug to flash separately, I'll have to do something different. In other words, I have to come over here, I have to change my pin, node, pin mode to something else, and that's what we're gonna do next.